Good evening, folks. And here we have some day-old news, apparently. Sorry I couldn't uh, discover this yesterday. I guess I was busy. Either that or my phone is not telling me of all my interests on the right times. So I do apologize if it's a bit late. I'm sure someone might have already covered this. Or might have seen the interview already. That's cool, too. So, uh, the last Jedi haters have Ryan Johnson dropping an F-bomb in defense of diversity. Uh, okay, that's interesting. That's kind of curious how he would uh, spin the word that way or spin the conversation to that sort of way. Um, don't think that's why people dislike the movie. I'm sure there's some people who thought there were, there were too many silly scenes that happened to involve women or whatever, or aliens. But uh, they're all bad, not because of the women. They were bad just because they were bad. And uh, the, the gender, the background, the, the species was largely irrelevant. Nearly two years since the release of Star Wars last year, the debate as to whether it is a minority addition to the long-running franchise or whether it is the worst thing to happen to cinema since the moving picture was first conceived rages on. And it's not going away, and I'm sure it's going to keep going on for at least another year after the release of The Rise of Skywalker. Whilst promoting this newest film, Knives Out, at a recent event, Ryan Johnson hit back against those who have aimed their hatred at The Last Jedi simply due to its diversity. That's, uh... You know, I've never heard that argument. I've heard that, uh, you know, the women are seen as strong and the men are seen as weak or incapable. But I don't think anyone bashed Holdo for being a woman. We bashed her for being a bad leader and wearing a dress when she should be wearing some sort of military outfit and having purple hair or pink hair, whatever the hell that was. It, it seemed out of place. You see, we care about the character and it, their characterization, in this case, hold those lack thereof. Also, we disliked Rose because she was kind of stupid. And her comments about you know, the, the, one of the climaxes of the film, about saving those we love as opposed to uh, stopping those we hate or whatever, seemed really dumb. And that she nearly got both her and Finn killed because of this retarded philosophy uh, it, that's the kind of reason why we dislike the film, uh, at least in regards to those characters who might be considered diverse. I don't think anyone I've ever heard made a cogent argument about diversity being a problem in Star Wars, where it's, it's you know, in the past, it's far, far and away, all sorts of aliens on alien planets. It's not, it's not, really, it's not really a big deal. It's when it impacts the plot or a plot or a character's characterization that we have problems. Someone responding to diversity negatively, F them. If anyone didn't like the movie, I'm not saying that's why they didn't like it. Okay, so he's saying, well, hey, I don't like people who don't like diversity. It's like, yeah, neither do I. That's, that's not exactly what... I mean, they're, they're trying to combine Last Jedi haters with people who dislike diversity. Those are two very different things. And again, I've never met someone or talked to someone or heard a cogent argument that diversity broke or damaged Star Wars. That's silly. It wasn't surprising at all to me as I, I grew up as a Star Wars fan. Really? You, you grew up as in the 80s and you heard arguments of people thinking diversity was bad in the original trilogy? Really? And I grew up. It was I was in my 20s when the prequels came out and this whole idea that's been all been sunshine and roses and suddenly everyone's yelling at each other is baffling to me. Okay, sure. I, I don't know. It's baffling to me, too, as I've never heard this before. To call the film polarizing would be something of an understatement, but the film's director, Ryan Johnson, has been surprisingly restrained and professional when defending Last Jedi against the vast mixture of legitimate fan criticism and toxic Star Wars trolls. Okay. Now, to be absolutely crystal clear, the above comments from Ryan Johnson is in no way directed towards people who have criticized the Last Jedi's narrative direction. Okay, so he's... It's, that's good that the... The writer here is making that distinction. The director has countered those criticisms, has countered, yeah, countered, not very successfully, screaming about Madik and God knows whatever else, stupid things, calling people man babies, probably not the best argument. Ad hominems do not make an arguer, sir. They never have and never will. This is something you learn, geez, grade school, you're taught the formality of argumenta argumentation and High school, and then you actually put that to practice, hopefully in post-secondary education. Read first-year philosophy. If you're going into law school, that's a given. So, yeah. 
and always in a very calm diplomatic manner. No, he doesn't. I don't think you you understand. This is the man who pretty much popularized the word man baby. Anyone who disagrees with him is a man baby. There's plenty of evidence of people replying to him in tweets very cordially, showing off basic flaws, and he either disregards them or calls him a man baby. Following his foul mouth response to the diversity detractors, I, again, who are these straw? Like, what is this straw man this man has invented? I want to know. I've never met anyone who's actively attacked Star Wars for being too diverse. That's kind of silly. Johnson followed up with his more familiar joviality regarding the ongoing debate about the quality of The Last Jedi. There's a link. I'm not going to go to that. Kevin Smith's Star Wars Last Jedi hate. Okay, whatever. Uh, bleh. And I feel like people care deeply about Star Wars. No kidding. And every single person has a slightly different version of what they think Star Wars is. Uh, sure. But we all agree, at least when we come to arguing, on the facts of what actually happened in the movies. We're not trying to invent headcanon. At least the intelligent ones of us don't go around inventing stuff. Some do and say that's why Star Wars is so great because they got so much out of it. I think that's good for you, but don't try to pass that off as what actually occurred. And so much of the fun of it is arguing about it. Nah, not really. The only fun we have is arguing about how bad it is because it's so bad, it's funny. It's ridiculous. It makes us laugh. It's entertaining to, to try to wrap your brain around a pile of crap and how nonsensical and stupid it has become all because of Mr. Ryan Johnson. The lack of plots, the, the plot holes, the, the, the lack of consistency, the plot threads, the subplots that went nowhere, the, the, the invention of lore, the reinvention of lore, uh, just horrible ideas. It, 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 you just ruined the entire franchise with one movie. It can happen, and it did. On the playground, you're yelling at your friends about who would win in a fight. That's fine. That's not what we're arguing about. It's part and parcel about the passion of being a Star Wars fan. There's a difference between arguing about why Rey is a Mary Sue and why she should not win in a fight when she beat Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren, one of, trained by two masters of, of the Sith and the Jedi, when she has no training herself. That doesn't make sense. You see, all, all the movies have to do is make sense. There has to be some, some modicum of basis for us to wrap our brains around to say, how could Rey win? Why isn't she dead yet? Why isn't she, you know, mind-controlled or whatever? All the, the number of times she, she averted death and saved people makes no sense. Yes, we could say the same in some scenes that are contrived in action scenes, even in the original trilogy, like when Han is really good at piloting, etc., etc. Sure. But we know he's a good pilot. Maybe that's how it works. We have reasons to explain why things are the way they are. In every piece of fiction, if you do not believe what's on the screen, you have a problem. The director, the writer, the lore expert, whomever, should be able to pick these apart really quickly. Like, oh, where did this lightsaber come from? Oh, it, was just, it just happened to be in a bar that I just happened to be going by. And it just, it magically calls out to people now. It just does that. That's, that's how lightsabers and the Force works. No, no actual lore on, on, the, on the crystals of the lightsaber, how a lightsaber is made. No, 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 no in detail it's for us to wrap our brains around to give us more information, to make us believe that there's something more going on. No, lightsabers can just do that now. That's just how it works. Johnson then went on to cement his adoration for Star Wars fans, except the ones who disagree with him, of course. Despite the hate he has received from a subsection, I think it's more than a subsection. I think it's actual fans. You know, the fans who know the lore, who know the movies, and go, you know what? In comparison, the prequels weren't so bad anymore. I know that's a sad thing to say when we have to, have to you know, take a, our, our, our lower standards and then go even lower and then look up and go, wow, the prequels were actually pretty good. That's where Star Wars is today, folks. 
and even stated that most of his interactions on social media are positive experiences, yeah, because you blocked everyone else who bothered to give you an opinion, even from those who disliked his movie. Really, I, I really hate your movie. That's a positive experience, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Star Wars fans are the best fans in the whole world. Uh, yeah, except the ones you block and call man babies. And when you agree with all your, your raving psycho fans, depending on what your feelings are for The Last Jedi, it will either excite you or send you into despair to learn that Ryan Johnson's forays in the Star Wars universe may not be over just yet. You see, this is, this is where people have to understand we want, or I want, Ryan Johnson to do well in movies in general. I want him to be a great film director, great writer, etc., etc. Because if he's making movies, he's not writing Star Wars flicks. He's not directing Star Wars flicks. He's doing other things. That's why I want Knives Out, which his interview was about, to do well. Because if he can make a series of whodunits or, or murder mysteries or whatever he likes doing, and they're good, then that means Hollywood says, hey, Ryan Johnson's making us money. And he can do it again with another film. That would be ideal. Because that way he's so busy and so successful and everyone's praising him and he's not touching the thing that he should never have touched, which is Star Wars. Though it may not be a sure thing right now, exactly. He has been attached to helm his own trilogy for some time. Again, nothing's for sure. And there are many who hope that despite Disney declaring that the franchise will be slowing down for the near future, that this will still go on ahead. Again, there's no evidence of this. Ray's journey continues with Skywalker Saga and the Rise of Skywalker coming this December. I'm sure there's more to the story here. This was an interview done over his latest movie, Knives, what? Knives Out. So, again, cheer him on, guys. Make sure Knives Out and other films of his do well, and in that way, he'll never have the opportunity or the time or the desire or the inkling to go back to Disney because I don't think it's worth talking about Ryan Johnson anymore. Um, we can say he's ruined the series. Uh, it doesn't sound too good for J.J. either, not to say he was like the crowning achievement in the new trilogy, but uh, let's, just, let's just send some good vibes if you're, on, if you're still not blocked. <laughs> if you can still read his tweets. If he, if he still does not see you as a man baby, send some positive kudos on a, on a and congratulations on a Knives Out premiere and uh, make sure he stays far, far away from Star Wars. Thanks, guys, for listening. Have a great evening.